Never had a chance to do a full free trip on a manual, so here we go, y'all. Okay. Don't don't sweat me. Don't be don't be hard on me. But I'm going with the move. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. First thing I would like to do is approach my vehicle. I'm gonna look for leaks and puddles of different fluid on the ground, under the engine, and the underside of the engine and the transmission. After that, I like to check all my lights, my headlights, my and my clearance lights. I want to make sure they're clean, not missing, not broken, proper color. Right now, I take the time to open up my hood before I go to my exhaust system. Walk with me, talk with me. Let's go to this exhaust system. Hello. My exhaust system is connected tightly, mounted securely. No loose clamps. Check it for damage, signs of leakage, such as rust or carbon soot. It has no cracks, holes, or severe dents. And I'm gonna follow my exhaust system to the turbo. Okay, let's get After that, I like to check my engine holes. I wanna make sure they're not cracked, worn, frayed, or leaking. After that, I like to check my alternator. My alternator is securely mounted. All wires are securely fastened. It's belt driven. Belt is not frayed, no visible cracks, no loose fibers, no signs of wear. If I push belt with hand, if it deflects more than a half or three fourth of an inch, it's excessive. Belt is snug. I like to take my oil since it's on the side. My oil is above the refill mark and in a safe operating range. After that, I like to check my water pump. Which is right here. My water pump is mounted properly. It's not loose and it's not leaking. And this water pump is gear driven. Let's go to the next one. First thing I like to check on this side is my acupressor. Uh oh, it's sacred pressor. Easy. My acupressor is securely mounted. It's not leaking and it's gear driven. After that, I like to check my power steering pump. It's secure the matter, not leaking, and it's gear driven. After that, I like to check my cooling. My cooling is at adequate level. I like to check my engine holes, checking for conditions and leaks. I like to check my power storing fluid. I want to check the side glass for proper level and make sure it's above the refill mark. I like to check my steering box and my hose. The steering box is secure the matter, not leaking. No loose or missing nuts and bolts. My steering holes. It's not damaged, not leaking. I like to check my steering linkage, my connecting arm, rod, and link from the steering box to the wheel are not worn or cracked. My joints and sockets are not worn or loose, and there's no loose or missing nut, bolt, car pin. After that, I like to check my spring mount and my hanger, my brackets bolts and bushes are in place. My spring hanger is not cracked or broken and there's no missing or damaged bushes. My leaf spring is not missing, shifted, cracked, broken. My U-bolts, there's no broken, loose, and missing bolt, including my U-bolt. My shock is over. It's secure mounted, not leaking. Brake holes and lines, not cracked, worn or frayed. All couplings and fittings are secure, not leaking, and it can supply air. My brake chamber is securely mounted, not leaking, has no cracks or dents, and no loose or missing clamps. My slack adjuster push rod is securely mounted. My slack adjuster and push rod is securely mounted. There's no bent, broken, loose, or missing parts. And if the brakes were released and pulled by hand, my push rod shouldn't move no more than approximately one inch. My brake drum and lining has no cracks, holes, or dents, no loose or missing bolts. My brake liners are not worn dangerously thin, and my brake drum and brake lining has no contaminants such as grease and oil. I like to go to my tie. First thing I like to check is my tread depth. It should be a minimum of 430 seconds. After that, I like to check my condition. My tread is even and warm. There's no cuts or damage to the tread and to the sidewalk. My 
bad cap is in, it's not missing, damaged, or broken. And if I want to check my tire inflation, I do it by using the proper tire gauge. My ring is not damaged or bent. Shouldn't have any welding repairs. And there's no rust trail to indicate that my rim is loose from the wheel. My lug nuts are all present, not loose. There's no rust trails around my nuts. There's no cracks radiating from the lug bolt holes. And there's no distortion of the bolt holes. My hub bar seal is at adequate level, not leaking. After that, I like to check my doors, mirror, and mirror brackets. My internal, external mirror bracket is securely mounted, not damaged. Free of excessive dust, my door is not damaged. It open, it closes properly. My hinges are secure, and my seal is intact. After that, I like to check my fuel tank and cap and leaks. My fuel tank is secure and my cap is tight. And there's no leaks from my fuel tank and from my fuel cap. After that, I would like to make sure I have spare electrical fuses. I want to make sure I have a properly secured and properly, properly charged fire extinguisher. And I also want to make sure I have three warning reflective trainers. After that, I like to check the side of my tractor, my clearance lights, and my reflector. They're clean, not missing, not broken, the proper color. My clearance lights on the top of my trailer. It's clean, not missing, not broken, the proper color. My header board is secure, strong enough to contain cargo, free of damage, and no missing rivets. My electric connector is firmly seated, locked in place on both the trailer and the truck. My air connectors are sealed and in good condition. My glad hands are locked in place and free of damage. My airlines, they're not crimp, crack, shape, tape, tangle, pinch, splice, worn, not dragging on tractor part. My electrical line. It's not crimp, crack, shape, tape, tangle, pinch, splice, worn. The electrical insulation is not cut and it's also not dragging on tractor board. After that, I like to check my catwalk and my step. My catwalk and step is solid, securely bolted to the tractor frame, and clear of loose objects. After that, I like to check my frame. There's no cracks or bends in my longitude frame number, and there's no bit. Broken, crack, loose, or missing, cross me. After that, I would like to take my drive shaft. My drive shaft is not bent, twisted, or cracked. My U joints appear to be secure and it's free of foreign objects. I like to check my toe ball torsion board. This security now, not damaged. After that, I like to check my brake holders. They not crack, worn, or frayed. All my couplers and fittings are secure. It's not leaking, and it can supply out. My brake tank is securely mounted, not leaking, has no cracks or dents, and no loose or missing clamps. My slack adjusted push rod is securely mounted. There's no bent, broken, loose, or missing parts. And if the brakes were released and pulled by hand, my push rod shouldn't move no more than approximately one inch. After that, I like to check my spring mount and my hanger, which is back there in that direction. My brackets, bolts, and bushings are in place. Spring hanger is not cracked or broken, and there's no missing or damaged bushings. My leaf spring is not missing, shifted, cracked, or broken. My U bolts. There's no broken, loose, or missing bolt, including my U-bolt. My shock absorber is securely mounted, not leaking. My brake drum and line has no cracks, holes, or dents. 
you know, loose and missing bolts. My brake liners are not worn dangerous thin. And my brake drum and my brake liner has no contaminants, such as grease and oil. After that, I like to check my bud spacing. My tires are evenly spaced, not damaged, free of foreign objects. I like to check my tires. First thing I'm gonna start with is my tread depth. She'll be a minimum of 230 seconds. I like to check my condition. The tread is evenly worn. There's no cuts or damage to the tread and to the sidewall. My valve cap is still. It's not missing, damaged, or broken. And if I wanted to check my tire inflation, I'd do it by using the proper tire gauge. My rim is not damaged or bent, and it shouldn't have any welding repairs. And there's no rust shred to indicate that my rim is loose from the wheel. My lug nuts are all present, not loose. There's no rust shreds around my nuts. There's no cracks radiating from the lug bolt holes, and there's no distortion of the bolt holes. My axis seal is not leaking. After that, I like to come right back here, check my air mounts, my airbag mount bolts, are in place and not damaged. My airbag is not damaged and is not leaking. I like to start with my apron. My apron is not cracked, bit, or broken. My gap, the trailer is laying flat on the fifth wheel skid plate and there's no space in between my apron and my fifth wheel skid plate. My fifth wheel skid plate is properly lubricated and securely mounted to the platform and all bolts and pins are secure and not missing. My release arm is secure all the way in, in the engaged position, and my safety latch is in place. I like to check my sliding fifth wheel. I'm going to check for leaks in the airlines. No loose or missing pins in the sliding mechanism of the sliding fifth wheel. My locking pins are fully engaged, and my fifth wheel is positioned properly to the tractor frame to where it clear my landing gear during turns. My mount bolts. There's no loose or missing brackets, clamps, nuts, and bolts. And both fifth wheel and my slide mount appears to be solidly attached in place. After that, I like to come and check my things in. My locking jaw, fifth wheel locking jaw holds my king pin in place, and my king pin is not bent or damaged. My locking jaw. My locking jaw is secure around my king pin. I like to check out my lights, reflectors, and reflector tape. My lights are clean, not missing, not broken, in proper color. My reflectors are clean with none missing and none broken. And my DOT reflector tape is present and securely affixed to the vehicle. My mud flap splash guard is securely mounted, not damaged. I like to start right here and check my trailer frame. There's no cracks or bends in my longitudinal frame member. And there's no bent, broken, cracked, loose, or missing cross member. And there's no breaks or holes in my box and in my trailer floor. My landing gear is fully raised. No loose, no loose or missing parts. My crank handle is secure. And my support frame and my landing pad is not damaged. All um, my, my reflectors, VOT reflector tape is present and securely affixed to the vehicle. All my lights, turn signals, clearance lights, clean, not missing, not broken, proper color. Let's get low. And my VOT reflector tape is present and securely affixed to the vehicle. I like to start with my tandem release. My locking pins are locked in place, and my tandem release arm is secure. I like to check my spring mount and my hanger. My brackets, bolts, and bushes are in place. Spring hanger is not cracked or broken, and there's no missing or damaged bushes. My leaf spring is not missing, shifted, cracked, or broken. My U-bolts, there's no broken, loose, or missing bolt, including my U-bolts. My torque on torsion bar is securely mounted, not damaged. My brake drum and line, there's no cracks over the ditch, no loose or missing bolts. My brake liners are not worn dangerously thin, 
in my brake drum, in my brake line, I has no contaminants such as grease and oil. My bird space is evenly spaced, not damaged, and free of foreign objects. Now, I like to start with this time. First thing I'm gonna check is my tread depth. Should be a minimum of two thirty seconds. I like to check my condition. The tread is evenly worn. There's no cuts or damage to the tread and to the sidewall. My bad cap is my bad cap is stem is not missing, damaged, or broken. And if I want to check my tire inflation, I do it by using the proper tire gauge. My rim is not damaged or bent, shouldn't have any welding repairs. And there's no rust trail to indicate that my rim is loose from the wheel. My lug nuts are all present, not loose. There's no rust trails around my nuts. There's no cracks radiating from the lug bow holes. And there's no distortion of the bow holes. My hub bar seal is at adequate level, not leaking. And my DOT reflector tape is present and securely affixed to the vehicle. My dough tie is secure. I like to get up under here and check my brake hose. Brake hoses and lines are not cracked, worn, or frayed. All my couplets and fittings are secure. It's not leaking, and it can supply help. My brake chain is securely mounted, not leaking, has no cracks or dents, and no loose or missing clamps. My slack adjusted push rod is securely mounted. There's no bent, broken, loose, or missing parts. And if the brakes were released and pulled by hand, Push rod shouldn't move no more than approximately one inch. I like to check my mud glass splash guard. It's securely mounted. Not damaged. My clearance lights, clean, not missing, not broken. Proper color. DOT reflector tape is present. It's securely affixed to the vehicle. I like to check my doors and my hinges. My doors and hinges are securely mounted, not damaged. My door is not damaged. Open, closes, and latches properly. And my door ties are secure. All my lights, turn signals and clearance lights, brake lights and turn lights. Not missing, not broken, in proper color. And my DOT reflector tape is present and securely affixed to the diesel.